This is Swamp Sniper. Oh, is it recording? <laughs> yeah. You never tell me when it's recording. <laughs> she it's never recording. tells me. Thank G7 you. G7 Viper here. We got Swamp Sniper. Hey, no, that's you. G7 Viper. I'm here with Swamp Sniper yes. at Balahack, and we did the oh wild today. It was awesome. We're both a little tired, but I wanted to challenge him to challenge me to open a box with something unique. I'm hearing it for the first time right now, so lay it on me. What is it? It's going to be an old school, like, Pokemon Pog. A Pog? A Pog. Like a cardboard yeah, Pog. Yeah, it's got to be a Pog. Now, it either has to be a Pokemon Pog, or it has to be an Appa plastic figurine from Avatar The Last Airbender. Okay, so we have two options. I think I can make either work, honestly, but this is gonna be tough. <laughs> it's gonna... Dude, just... Uh, weren't there like metal pogs, right? Yeah, slammers. 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 What's up, 90s kids? <laughs> Everyone else, you're past your bedtime. So, um, I can do that, I guess. Uh, yeah, I can make that happen. We're gonna find it first, get it, open a box with it, and then I can successfully say challenge defeated, but I appreciate it. Thank you very Absolutely. much. Absolutely. I, I kind of hope it's the Appa figurine, but if it's the Pog, that's Why not more challenging. Both? Why not both? I'll just do Wait, it big. He has to open the box with the Pog and the Appa character, and he can't let go of them until it's completely opened. Okay. All right. It's gonna be more worth watching. Yeah, no, you're right. If I can do a potato and spaghetti, I can do this. I can do you anything. You did it with spaghetti? We did it with spaghetti, raw uh, spaghetti. Was it breaking? Yes, I can make this happen. Awesome, brother. All right, guys. Thank you. Well, this man does so much for this place. No, no, He's this epic. guy. I guess cut to me opening something with what he just said. Yeah, we got this. I can do it, I can totally do it. All right, here we are, we got the stuff. We're about to open some boxes. We've got the Appa and Aang figure and Pokemon Pogs. These were not easy to track down. We had to use like eBay and stuff. And what will we be unboxing, you might ask? These are no mystery boxes because I know what's in each of these boxes. That doesn't mean they're not special because these boxes are airsoft guns directly from Swamp Sniper. That's right, he gave us some airsoft guns to unbox and that means we're just gonna have to get into it right now so you guys can find out what's in these boxes. I already know, so it's not like a mystery box for me, but it is a mystery for you. And I'm pretty excited to show you what he thought that we needed for the collection. So I'm gonna use Appa first. And the rule was I couldn't put this down until I got into the box. So these were packaged by Mrs. Viper herself. Yeah, Appa's got horns. I'm starting to second guess myself using good tape. Yeah, I know. We gonna have a broken up. His tail looks stiff. His tail looks stiff. Bruh. I hope that's not what she said. Hold on, Ang, you're going for a ride. It's like bucking Broncos. Do we have to put so many tapes on it? Oh. So close. Why is this so difficult? Come on, bend the air! Gosh. We're so close. A little bit more. Got it. First we have paper! That's right, we couldn't have an unboxing without a little bit of paper, so Mrs. Viper was so excited to put paper into the box. And then we have, for the first box, ugh, get out of here. This is one of Swamp Snipers, Swamp Snipers. This is a Modify Mod 24 SF bolt action spring powered sniper rifle. He did a little wrap of paracord on this front barrel portion. He did not have a mag to include with it, that's fine. I either have one or will get one. And this was indeed part of Swamp Sniper's collection before he downsized. Mod 24 SF shoots pretty great. And now, it can go on my wall and be part of mine. I'm very happy with this. But you guys notice that we have a second box. And that means we have the second item to unbox it with. So I did happen to track down four original Pokemon Pogs on eBay from 1998. I'm really hoping we don't ruin them because one day these might be worth money. I've got Execute, 
Clefable, Nidorina, and Snorlax. I guess you could say we're gonna execute a good box opening. But if it's not entertaining, you guys will be just like Snorlax. There's no puns for the other two. I'm gonna do dual opening. We've got Snorlax and Execute. And this is our new custom C7 Viper packing tape for mystery boxes and whatnot. Ooh. Now, how exactly did Swamp Sniper say that I was gonna be able to get into these? <laughs> Come on, friction. Ooh, Execute got flat. <laughs> Bet you didn't think this is what you were going to be used for, Pokemon Pog. Try some Snorlax action. <sighs> All right, let's get these things graded and sell them online. Two gently used Pokemon Pogs. And I know you guys are really excited and wondering why I saved the small one for last. Usually you would save the larger box for last, but what's in here definitely warrants the grand finale. Some paper. No, I'm just kidding, that's not all. But what I have here is part of Airsoft history, at least YouTube Airsoft history, because I have the ASG CZ75 SPO1 Shadow, but not just any CZ75. This is the one that Swamp Sniper dropped in the swamp while he was being a sniper and found it again over a month later, and it still worked. This is the famous SPO1 shadow that I lost in the swamp for forever. Pulled it out, it worked, got some kills with it. This is my ASG CZ75 SPO1 that I love because it matches my real steel one. Now you see it. <laughs> now you don't. One month and four days after I lost my pistol, I am finally determined to find this thing. No, what is that? Please. Yes. The real test will be to see if it fires. Yes! Yes! Yeah, that one. And again, this one didn't come with a mag, but it shouldn't be too hard to track one down. It's a very popular model. And I'm just so excited to be able to own this and put it in the collection as a piece of airsoft history. Because I feel like that kind of history needs to be preserved for our sport. Otherwise, how are people going to know where we came from? They're going to think it was all just speedy boys and milsim guys. What about the backyard fun? Or looking around in a swamp with a metal detector to find your missing items? Come on. We've all done it. Does it still smell like the swamp? No. It just smells like an airsoft pew. I think he cleaned it. There is still a little bit of dirt in the grooves of the slide. Uh, actually, a good bit of like caked mud. So as you can see, there is a little bit of caked mud on the grooves of the slide. That's proof that it was actually in the swamps of Virginia. There's actually some mud underneath the rails too. So that is the Swamp Sniper unboxing. I can say now, challenge defeated soundly. Now I have a cool Appa figure and some Pokemon Pogs to keep on my shelf. Another part of Airsoft history for some reason. I want to give a big thank you and a shout out to Swamp Sniper, Christopher, for giving me this challenge and just being a friend. Thanks for running a great field and great events every year. And I really don't mind traveling there and helping out because it's so much fun. And if you guys haven't been to a rev or the wild Jump! or just general gameplay at Balahack, what are you doing? You're sleeping on it. You really need to get there. It's probably the best field I've ever been to and I'm including my own. So now that this is done, what YouTuber would you like to see challenge me to unbox something? Not saying it'll happen, but wouldn't it be cool if it could? If anyone could pick something for me to unbox, who should it be? Never know, it might happen. Probably not, but it might. That's it for me today, guys. Like it if I made you laugh, because I'll do it again. Find us on all the socials. TikTok's being weird, but hey, there's always Instagram. Mrs. Vipers also. And if you want some patches or a cool t-shirt, c7viper.com. I think we still have a few of those mystery shirts left. Go check it out. And until next time, I wonder if I can hit the camera with this Pokemon Pog. No! You've got a couple more tries. You're right. Dang. Come on, clip face. Oh no! Our Appa! It's broken!